Look, let's turn our attention now to the floods in Queensland. We can't forget the people up there. Now, communities north of Port Douglas remain cut off. Massive road damage. Uh, Port Douglas itself, while up and ready to welcome tourists back, can't be accessed along that coastal highway, the Captain Cook Highway. You need to actually go out through Mareeba, which, if people want to get to Port Douglas, that's a good way to go. It's a, not a bad drive, and hopefully they can get through that way. Communities further north are relying on air support, actually, to fly supplies in. Take a listen to some of the locals in that part of the world and how they are coping. We just ended up with a about what, five or six days worth of rain. It was just biblical, really. It was crazy. I've never seen anything like it. There's no immediate shortage of food, but there's going to be if, if people, uh, if, if the road doesn't open. Now all we've been doing is scraping that mud and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. On our hands and knees scrubbing the floors, trying to get all the mud out. Businesses have already closed. The Mossman Mill, this is enough just to de devastate it and probably Mossman will never recover. So I say to Albo, I say to the new Premier, come up here, meet the people in Mossman. Pictures on Sky Today showed empty shelves at the Woolworths in Mossman. That's just shocking. Joining me now is Port Douglas Mayor Michael Kerr, who I get a sense from watching him over the last few days is uh, an optimistic man. G'day, Michael. Nice to talk to you again. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. Uh, I like the smile on your face, and I agree with you. If you've got a, uh, a holiday booked in Port Douglas, which is one of the great places in the world, you can go out through Mareeba. Is that road OK? I know it takes a bit longer, but can you get through that way? You can get that way through that way. We've currently just got to close because we're trying to get the emergency services and the trucks through. As you said, you saw Woolworths with the shelves empty. We need to get those trucks through now. And we had about 50 trucks, I think it was, using that road today to get through. We don't want anyone on it that may have an accident and cut it off for another five days. Let us get the emergency services. Let us get us the big trucks through that's going to do all this clearing work. Let us get this food and all the perishables through that we need. And then we'll open it up for the public to use. We spoke yesterday and asked you about, you know, the road damage. I'm going to talk to to uh, to the, the poor old Lord Mayor of uh, the Mayor of uh, Lismore, who you know had to go through this 22 months ago, Steve Craig, and uh, his big problem was roads. Uh, how hard is it going to be to get Captain Cook Highway opened up? And what about the rest of the roads in your shire? Yeah, it's going to be. Part, it's going to be a long road and I actually had a really good conversation with him last night. He gave us a call to tell us about his experiences so I'll certainly be making phone calls with him and keeping in touch but it's going to be a long road um, to get a bit of a long road, there's irony in that, uh, to get that fixed uh, but we will do and as I said last night, you know, as long as we've got access to Port Douglas so people can still get here maybe they'll stay longer if it's harder to get out. You've got uh, food issues there or you're getting stuff through okay? The stocks are all starting to come through. We had our first Coles truck come through yesterday morning, so Coles got their full, full share of food. Uh, Woolworths are getting theirs now. They, I saw the big truck as I was driving down now, heading towards Woolworths. So, you know, the food is starting to come through. Um, the only issue we've got currently at the moment is a water supply issue. Uh, hopefully that will be fixed tonight, maybe tomorrow, definitely by the weekend. To keep the fingers crossed that we're going to solve the water issue and then, uh, you know, we'll at least be... Uh, a lot more comfortable than what we are at the moment. Let's just uh, go a bit further north. Um, you know the area much better than me, but uh, you go, you know, past uh, uh, the Daintree and up to Mossman. Where is the really uh, the area that you've got real concerns about now? So once you actually get across the river, um, there's, a, there's a stretch there. We've actually divided basically the Daintree into three separate areas now because of landslides. So you've got uh, the Forest Creek Road area in Cape Kimberley, then you've got the Cow Bay area, and then you've got another, you've got a massive big landslide just before Cow Bay. You've got another massive landslide just before Cape Tribulation. So the three areas are completely separated. They can't get to each other. Um, and it's going to be major work. The one that's stopping Cape, but just before Cape Tribulation is at least 110 metres wide. It's a huge drop, and that one's going to certainly take some geotech specialists to make that work. I'm sure when you were talking to Steve, uh, you would have got some advice on how you deal with senior politicians who fly in and how you, you, you nail them to the cross and, and actually get what they say they're going to promise. Did he give you some advice on that? And what are you going to tell the PM when you see him? 
<laughs> well, it's a, it's my motto as well, and him and I have got a very much an agreement in that you don't take no for an answer. This is what I need. This is what my people want, and you keep knocking on their door until you get it. And so he's going to be there when tomorrow he's expected, along with the Premier? I believe so. Nothing's been confirmed with my office yet uh, of their visit. Um, we're just going by people saying that the both the Prime Minister and the Premier are supposed to be around this region tomorrow. So uh, if you had another message to the good folk of uh, the rest of Australia about visiting, um, what would it be? I mean, I, I know you're very optimistic about this. What would you be saying? No, I'm still saying the same thing. You know, we're, we're having a couple of issues right now with Port Douglas as far as water concerns, but there's nothing else wrong with it. So, you know, get past Christmas. You know, we are going to be open and trading again. We really do need the business because, you know, the last thing I want for this community is another massive uh, crash in our economy through tourism. As that uh, person did say, the mill's now currently in administration, so we're trying to sort that as well. You know, economically, we just couldn't afford this right now, and, you know, it's the worst time being Christmas as well, so it's hit people in the hearts, the brains, the morals, the finance, the, wa the wallets, everywhere it's, it's getting us right now. So we really need those tourists to keep coming, you know, once uh, the sun's shining in a couple of weeks' time. You won't even know that this has happened in Port Douglas, I can tell you right now. I had a very pleasant Anzac day up there a couple of years ago and won a lot of money in the Iron Pub in the main street. I've got very fond memories of that, I've got to tell you. Yeah, they do a good two up there. <laughs> do they ever. Michael, good luck with it all. Thank you again, Michael Kerr there.